How's it going, people? Well, today I kind of wanted to talk to you about climate change. Kind of heard arguments on both sides of it about how people have been the reason there is climate change and how it's just a natural progression of nature. Now, I'm leaning toward the more scientific side of it because after doing quite a bit of research on it and listening to several different um, several different discussions on it uh, and watch a lot of Science Channel. It's one of those deals where basically with the uh, politicians it's kind of a buzzword type deal that they use to get themselves a little more attention. I guess that they think they're affecting the tides and everything, it's uh, heating of the cooling of the earth is affected by uh, its normal cycle. Now, the floods and everything I think are just the, um, well, let me change it getting flooded out in some of the areas that they live in. Right now, most of the floods, like in Mississippi, are being caused by them knocking down or blowing up levees and people that lived in the lower-lying areas that just made a bad choice of where to live uh, are getting affected by it. Now, it's sad that there's whole cities because the flood water had to go somewhere. Um, and I do feel for those families because some of them didn't really have a choice as to where they live. They got what was available as far as housing goes at the time. And that's, that's it. I mean, sometimes just where you're at you got to get what you can afford, and if all you can afford is in a lower-lying area, a floodplain or whatever, then that's the card you're dealt. But a lot of that you can blame developers for. It's like my property. A lot of the reason that it's uh, constantly as flooded out as it is It actually used to be a swamp that somebody developed. And after it was developed, it was pasture land. Well, they've come through and put pipes in and this, that, and the other, and it's now it's uh, just a, a flooded, sickly mess when it rains. But when it's
it's not because of all the stuff that's been put on my property. It's like a washboard when you go to mow it. But getting back to the climate change thing, I don't think there's as much to worry about uh, here as the the media would have you believe. I think there's more of a It's more of a scare tactic to get people to, I mean, granted, we could be doing things smarter and better as far as our energy usage and our reliance on fossil fuels and all, but what we're doing right now isn't, what we do as, as a community isn't what's uh, causing the earth to heat up. That's just something that naturally happens. Now we do, we are generating pollution. Uh, I'll agree with that one. Now I think it's kind of funny that all these people that came up with answers to the pollution problem back in the 70s and 80s, some of them even got killed for it. I think it's kind of sad that we didn't listen to those people back then. Because now everybody's coming up with hydrogen vehicles, electric vehicles, uh, alternative fuels in vehicles, like it's a new idea. And they're all ideas that people have had since the 70s, some of them before that. I can only verify the ones from the 70s, but it's, it's kind of crazy. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Personally, I don't think there's anything to fear or worry about, but I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say on the, on the topic.